Hi, Colin Lay here with Lay Roots, and I want to talk to you about Washington estate taxes, also known as transfer taxes, inheritance tax, death tax, um, taxes that a lot of people don't want to end up paying. Um, so in Washington state, if you die with more than that number there, roughly $2 million, uh, your loved ones will be paying estate taxes somewhere between 10 and 20 percent. So when a lot of people learn about that, they also want to learn about how they can avoid paying those taxes. And one of the most common ways is to give away some of your assets. Um, so there is a federal lifetime gift exemption of about five and a half million dollars right now. It does change over time, uh, but basically you can give away up to this amount without owing any gift taxes. So what people would do if you were, say, had an estate with worth about four million, you could give away two million and that would bring you down below that two million dollar mark and your loved ones wouldn't owe any estate taxes at your death. Now, one thing to consider though, uh, a mistake a lot of people make, is that they give away an asset or assets that have a low basis uh, for capital gains taxes. So if you were to give away, say, a piece of property that you bought a long time ago, uh, when your loved ones or whoever you gift that property to end up selling it, they're going to be potentially paying a lot of capital gains taxes. So you don't want to uh, take action to avoid a 10% estate tax and end up having somebody paying a 20% or 15% capital gains tax. So you want to make sure that you're gifting assets uh, that won't result in a lot of capital gains taxes and that way you can do some great planning to lower your tax liability. And that's it. That's all I got today. Um, Hope that's clear for you. Um, you can reach out to us with any questions you have. And thanks for watching. Take care.